of the first half. Paddy McCourt goes across to take charge. Decides it's not going to be a short one. Then changes his mind, it is going to be a short one. Gets the ball back. Paddy McCourt twisting and turning on that goal line. Still Paddy McCourt along the goal line. He dances, he cuts the ball and sends it back of the net. And Celtic have got a breakthrough goal. And then once again, Paddy McCourt absolutely at the heart of it for Celtic. Corakins it was who applied the finishing touch but the corner kick was taken short, played back towards Paddy McCourt and he just danced along the goal line leaving Hearts players in his wake, eventually cutting the ball back in towards the edge of the six yard box and Anton Corakins was there for Celtic to tap the ball home, it's a breakthrough goal, it's Hearts nil, Celtic won. Well Paddy McCourt when he gets the ball anything can happen and once again Great ball skill, the ball just stuck to his toe, danced along that goal line, and Karakins was there just to tap the ball home. But great work, great creative play by Paddy McCourt. Half time whistle goes here, and it's Hearts who will go in with that blow just before half time. But what an end to the first 45 minutes. No more than Celtic deserve for the possession in the first half. The only goal of the game coming from Anton Karakins. His debut for the reserves, his first full game for the reserves. But Paddy McCourt, the architect, dancing along that goal line. Wonderful footwork, wasn't it? Just skipped away from the attentions, cutting the ball back. Kurakin's on hand to stab the ball home. And it's Hearts who go in trailing. It's half-time here. Hart and Midlodian, nil. Celtic, one.